them, so it is so cutthroat. Mm. Well, we're, we're very, very lucky to have you here, and as I said, we've got the set here ready to make you feel at home between <laughs> the sticks, with the net, ready to go. You brought me your gloves here, uh, Ian, very nice, thank you yeah. very much, your well, gardening gloves. They are good for in goals with a yeah, goal mouse around, you know, a bit dirty, so they're perfect gloves for you. Well worn, thank you very much, I might be slapping you around a bit later on with those. Um, but listen, to, to make you feel at home, we're going to have a look at the cup round results from round two of the Top Corner Sports uh, Cup and uh, let's have a look at those now and see what happened over the weekend. Some very interesting <coughs> results here. Uh, now, as we were talking about Campbelltown and Adelaide Blue Eagles, it was a rematch of the round eight match, which was fantastic and we did have footage of that last week, a brilliant game. Um, didn't go quite to plan, nil all after extra time and of course went to penalties and Campbelltown City won 4-3 on penalties. And you can have a look at some of those penalties on footballnews.com if you go to the link there. Uh, someone's recorded the penalties and you'll be able to see Les take his fourth one, which he <laughs> did miss to the great delight of Gino Di Lucia, who absolutely love that. Um, and of course then uh, Adelaide Hills won, uh, Enfield City two, uh, Ian uh, played a great game there with um, uh, Bowman uh, scoring for Adelaide Hills and uh, Brett Silger and Tyson Prescott scoring for Enfield City. White City Woodville defeated Mobbery. Unfortunately, Paul, you got two past you there. Did you play? No, I didn't oh, play. Oh, you did it. Okay, no. so it wasn't your fault then. Okay, well, that was a, unfortunate, a tough match again uh, with uh, Radachai and Buko scoring for Woodville at White City and uh, Rhys Devlin scoring for Mobbery. And he's been scoring a few lately too, so that's great for the Jets. Uh, Salisbury were defeated 1-0 uh, only uh, by Adelaide City. Uh, the goal being scored by Nicholas also. Uh, begs to differ what type of a match that was if they were able to hold Adelaide City just to the one goal. So, yep. you know, well done to them on their behalf. Uh, Para Hills won, Metro Stars two, with uh, Marino scoring for Para Hills and Andrew Chiala and Francesco Monteroso scoring for Metro Stars. And we do have that footage coming up. Adelaide Galaxy one, being defeated by Croydon Kings two, with uh, Paul Caratevlis scoring for Galaxy and Klimek and Pro Lozidis scoring for Croydon Kings. Now the Pirates and NAB match um, has been deferred until the 8th of June uh, because NAB had their normal state league matches and the Cumberland United and Seaford Rangers match as well has been deferred to that date um, because Seaford Rangers had their normal <clears throat> around nine match in the state league. So I'm going to ask if um, we can go to that footage and start looking at uh, the Parry Hills and Metro Stars footage and have a look at that and have a look how they went. Obviously these two teams, um, guys, always when they face up each other, and we say every round, it's not an easy match any round, whoever you're facing up to, because they are so even, and, and this again was going to be another good match, Paul. Yeah, it would be a, a, would be a cracking match now. There's a few experienced players uh, for, for Metro and a few young guns for Parry Hills as well, so it would have been uh, a great game we got to... Uh, we got Metro this week, yeah, so it'll be interesting yeah. to have a what, we'll look at this footage, actually. We'll be talking about that later on. And, of course, they had um, uh, Scotty Tunbridge back as well for Metro Stars, so he was out. We saw that footage of him uh, uh, hurting his knee. Wasn't as bad as poor Simon's, where that was a season-ending uh, injury to Simon Catanzaro, but uh, for Scotty, uh, he was able to come back for this match. Um, I watched this footage, and it was a real tight match. Um, not a lot of shots at goal, not a lot of chances, but the chances that they did take were very well um, uh, beaten by their keepers. Of course, you've got uh, McKee there for Parry Hills, yep. and you've got uh, Daniel Godley for Metro Stars. Two very good keepers and, and in form, you know, very well for this season again, as yep. they have been over the last few seasons. Yeah, well, just looking by that goal from uh, Charla there, I think it was a cracker. There wasn't, wasn't much it? he could do. Yeah. Jimmy could do about that one. So. Uh, I was surprised that it got through all those defenders because when you look at it, it just it seems so simple, mm. and yet uh, you know he was able mm. to slot it through. So uh, good foresight there by Andrew Chiel, and he's a great he is a great player. Again, great defending here. Uh, by both teams. Metro Stars, they've got uh, Lee Robertson and of course Ivan Karlovic who are very, very strong and you guys would uh, uh, attest to that. Um, and again, Nathan Day, I mean you know Nathan from uh, yeah. Mobbery and he's been doing very, very well for, for Power Hills. Oh, well, he's, he's class, isn't he? He's, he's class. Um, I think 34, 35 now, but he's still Still have to be one of the best players in the league. That shows my age. I've played against Nathan quite a few times <laughs> back in the West Adelaide days. But yeah, he's a very, very crafty player, and, and you know, can he's got a trick or two. And he has. He's very entertaining too. And you yeah. just had a birthday too, Les, didn't you? Yeah. Not long ago. Yeah. 
about a week ago, so happy birthday Thank to you. Thank you very much. I won't say how old you are, <laughs> no, because exactly. we do, we'll keep people in suspense, <laughs> won't we? Uh, no, but yeah, Nathan is, he's not only a quality player, but to, look, that goal there, that is a, a great goal. And a cracker as well. Five goals so far, man. Yeah. quality finishes. Yeah, very much so. And uh, that, that took uh, Parra Hills uh, into uh, equal footing again. That was about uh, halfway through the first half. Yep. Uh, again, very, very tight uh, uh, football, very tough football, as you would expect from these two sides, uh, wanting to stay in the cup. And, um, you know, again, some of the players that they've got, even um, uh, Golding has been doing very well for Power Hills, and yep. as has uh, Van Dommel from uh, Metro Stars. Other guys that have been with the uh, Adelaide uh, United are now back in the local league, so it's good to see that guys are coming back mm. into the local league. Um, there was a chance, a couple of chances for Milady as well. Now, Milady, I really feel for him lately because he hasn't been successful. I guess he's got to get back into form. So he's had a couple of goals, but probably not as many as he would have liked. Probably not as many as he's used to. Mm. Used to scoring, but look, he's got plenty of good players around him as long as he's doing his bit with the team. I don't suppose it really matters. But so you for yourself, uh, Paul, being in the local league, who's who's been your toughest opponent that you've had to face? Oh. Or that you dread facing? There's been a few. I think um, obviously the first time you play against someone like Damien Mori, that was that was pretty exciting. Um, I'm glad I got to play with Nathan before I played against him. Mm -hmm. So um, that was always good. I still think he's yeah one of the best going around, and he's sorely missed at Mobry. But um, yeah, I'd say something like that. You, usually, a few of the older guys are a bit more crafty and they know what's going on. So yeah, they see great saves there, but then it ended up you know bobbling out and. Uh, Francesco Monteroso was there, right place, right time to get about to drill that one in. That took uh, Metro Stars to 2-1 and basically that's how the result stayed for the rest of the match. Uh, the second half again was very, very tight. Um, Tobias had another shot at goal as well. Tobias has been playing very, very well, um, both in the uh, Adelaide United Youth League and then back for his old club. So then you get saves from uh, Daniel Godley that uh, you know it makes you wonder you know how he pulls some of these off. Yeah. As with all of you, I mean, I've watched all of you play, <laughs> and you just go, you know, you shake your head sometimes, like how on earth do you stop these things? Because it is amazing, it is amazing, Liz. I mean, I've watched you play uh, probably three or four games now, and you've had some great saves. Uh, yeah, the thing is, I think with goalkeeping is uh, it, it's all about repetition and practice, and I think if you you train quite hard, which I think most keepers do train pretty hard. Um, when you go into a game, it sort of becomes instinct and things just happen naturally. So um, half the time you wonder you, yourself how you, <laughs> how you manage to claw some of the, the balls out that you do claw out. So I mean, it must feel good when you have a great game and you do pull off some of these fantastic saves. And we have seen some brilliant ones over the years. I mean, we've been doing full-on football now. This is our fourth season. And some footage that we've taken have, have been some brilliant saves, as it was with uh, Gino De Lucia a couple of weeks ago, um, uh, where he pulled off a double save, and it was just uh, fantastic. So, you know, yourself, Ian? Yeah, you know, um, I think it comes uh, a bit with your reflexes, you know. So I guess I played cricket when I was younger as well. I was a wicketkeeper, and I guess that helped me out a lot. Um, helps me out a lot as a keeper um, as I was a centre forward so I sort of like anticipate a lot of it as mm. well you know so you sort of like think well what's the keeper going to do and what would I do in this situation mm. so that's how I take it on board so yeah. So what do you think makes makes a good keeper Ian? If, you, if there were some kids out there that are watching now and thinking yeah I might like to do that. Um, because obviously with you, height doesn't matter, it's not, it's not an issue. Yeah, uh, I think um, a good goalkeeper is uh, someone who can read the play well and I think um, a lot of keepers these days um, stay on their line too much as myself. <laughs> I've, I play more out, you know, you've got to become that uh, sweeper I think, you know, you've I think a keeper these days has to be able to use their feet as much as uh, ball players on the part so they can, you know, be confident to knock them back. So, yeah, just just be able to read the play and, and still be able to have a little bit of ball skills as well so the defenders have got a bit of uh, trust in you by knocking it back. 
Now, we, the, it just we saw there in that footage, uh, um, Adelaide Hills scored the equaliser. I didn't catch the first goal, unfortunately, for Enfield.